So now we're going to um, practice. This is how we change someone with a brief. Of course, we need our brief, our chuck, and our under pad. And these are bath wipes for cleaning and, of course, our gloves. We come in, we introduce what we're going to do. We tell them that we're going to put their head down because it's easier to work with them when they're flat. We bring the bed up to our working level, what's comfortable for us. And now we put on our gloves. And we're just going to pretend that this person had a bowel movement, okay? The brief is on, and we do it in the manner like a child or an infant. And once again, you heard me call this a brief and not a diaper. That's demeaning to say a diaper. So if she had a bowel movement, just as if I was cleaning a younger person, I'm going to use the brief at first to clean her. And I just wipe there. Mm -hmm. I can take my wipes. And these are moist cloth. And I clean her just like I do perineal care. And when I do that, I take it all the way down and I just stick it underneath her. Okay? Okay. If this was a real person, I could have them to turn over. I clean from here, back. And I use another wipe if I need to clean the rectum area. If this person was real, real soiled, I can use this under pad to now clean. So they're holding it there. I roll this underneath. If that was like really super, super soil, to keep it to get from getting on the clean, I take a clean towel. Now that takes the dirt away. And this is going to keep my bed clean. You also can use a chuck if they're really wet. It, and I take this part and put, that keeps the wetness away from our clean material. So I take this chuck, I roll it underneath that clean towel. That's why I needed that. That goes there. Of course, our tabs go to the top. Bring this on the lower end. We don't want it up high because we're not going to be able to pull it between the thighs. So it's going to be normal, uh, lower than underwear normally sits. Okay. Most of the time when lying down, when someone poops, it comes to the front rather than the back. We let them know, hey, Miss Trixie, there's a big hump underneath you that she has to roll over. And so I could continue this by myself because all this is clean. I can roll that that way. Pull this out. That's why that's lower and her hips go there. This comes up. And we fasten. Don't fasten too tight because it'll cause rings here. Also, even if the person has heavy thighs, don't just snatch this up because it's going to cause an abrasion or friction. You may have to move the thigh and then pull it up. This, I wouldn't have, would not have said it here. I probably would have put it on the floor. Um, Got my supplies up because my hands are soiled. I dispose of everything, wash my hands, take off my gloves. Then I come back and I continue to get her covered up, head up, 
bed down. I give her the call light. Ask her, is there anything else she needs? Wash my hands. My skills complete.